I was kept under 24-hour video observation. It was a 10-day experiment, and they collected a lot of data every single day. And I, too, was very interested in the scientific, the absolutely conventional, solid, rigorous and unbiased approach to this issue, because I needed to address the questions generated by this phenomenon. My name is Michael Werner. I underwent the 21-day breatharian process in January of 2001, and I have not gone back to eating since. I'm a scientist, and I ask myself, how is this possible? What do I say to colleagues or in scientific circles? Am I making a fool of myself? I want people to take me seriously. And this all originated as a new age thing, which I don't always understand nor always agree with. A stubborn materialist might well say, count me out, but, but I can't change the way it is. My first encounter was completely unexpected. Six years ago, my son was being married and an old family friend was staying with us. She was eating, and we asked her if there's anything wrong. Nothing. She claimed to have simply converted to pranic feeding. Well, that blew my mind. Stirred me up emotionally, got me thinking, and then she told me about a book by Jess Muheen. I read it, but I wasn't fascinated, to say the least. But half a year later, I decided to put it to the test, and I undertook the ordeal of the 21-day process myself. And I have lived this way ever since. I was highly skeptical about the way the book put it. And I never experienced any heavenly brotherhoods working in me, at least not directly. But on the third night, I must also admit that I did indeed experience an undeniable change. When I awoke on day four, I knew unequivocally that I was no longer fasting. It was evident. It simply was. It was as if I had eaten a full meal and I required no more.